Hi Leo, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings. Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your love reading for Love Gypsy Tarot Reading for the last two weeks in September 16th to the 30th of September. Um, I can't quite remember what your reading was, unfortunately, but we'll see if any of you guys remember it, then we'll see if there's any changes, anything moving along that. Um, we'll see if there's anything sort of adding to those energies from the last reading. Just to let you know, we're going to be doing the Gypsy Tarot a little bit differently this time. You've got three cards down the centre to explain the general energies. Three cards to the right, top row, to the right are the distant past of the situation. Three cards to the left are the recent past. Three cards in the centre of the reading uh, to the right are the present. Three cards to the left present. And three cards at the bottom uh, row to the right are the, um, are the uh, immediate future. And three cards to the left are the overall outcome. Okay, so and I'm using your Romance Angels card for advice. Universe Spirit, show me Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Show me Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Show me Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. What's coming in in terms of love? All I want to see is Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs in terms of their love lives for the last two weeks of September 2017. Show me. All right, so let's split the deck into three. And we're using the Witch's Tarot as usual for the... Um, love spread and let's um, factor these out So, let's have a look at what the, and I always go through the general energies once I've, um, once I've been through uh, the actual reading. So, distant past shows a change. Could have been a change for the better, but the Wheel of Fortune is a neutral card, so it doesn't always mean, it might also mean a destiny, soulmates, fate with this um, Wheel of Fortune energy showing here. So it might be that something was fated in terms of love with the Wheel of Fortune, but it can also easily just mean, you know, a change or something was fated to change here with this Wheel of Fortune energy. And we do have the Seven of Wands showing up here. So um, we've got a change occurring or some form of fated or it might be in the distant past that there was some form of uh, path you were on in terms of love, uh, Leo, that led to this Seven of Wands energy. And Seven of Wands can mean protection in terms of love. It can mean that you're defending something in terms of love. This should be you guys because it's wands. But it can also mean that you're blocking something out or there's a rejection here. So uh, let's get the other card. And we've got the Knight of Wands showing here as well, which is interesting. I think that you guys were blocking someone out. It could have been at the same sign, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Or it might be, because the Seven of Wands is somebody who blocks people out. And I can see it facing straight at that Knight of Wands energy. And I think that there was a change, maybe, or maybe that you were destined, maybe in the past, distant past, to block an individual. An energy of the Knight of Wands, because Knight of Wands is a fast mover in love. And I feel that you were destined to do this for some reason around this individual. But it could also be that there was a change occurred in which, for some of you guys, there might have been a need to block out an individual here. It could be a fire sign individual or somebody who was perhaps with this Knight of Wands energy, the energy of the Knight of Wands, moving too fast in a relationship with some of you Leos. In the recent past, we've got the Ten of Cups, which is usually soulmate card, the greatest emotional. I mean, I don't always follow the Ten of Cups as being a soulmate card. It can be bullshit. Sometimes it means, because it's a pit card, so in the, in, you know, in, in the moment, there's great happiness with the Ten of Cups. And I'm kind of like a realistic reader, all right? So even though we can attribute words to having a soulmate, it's not always a soulmate card. Sometimes it's in the moment you're having the greatest happiness with an individual. There's a lot of emotional, 
gratification and contentment and satisfaction with this card. But you've got the Ace of Swords showing here. All right, so I feel that uh, several, there was an announcement made. I think in a relationship here in the recent past, there's been, with this Ace of Swords, there may be some communication, clear communication being made through some news that came because you've got the Page of Wands and both cards represent communication. The Page of Wands is where it's like, roll up, roll up, news, here's the news, an announcement. Could be a, a severance was an announcement. Or we've got this Ten of Cups, greatest happiness. But I feel that there was some form of stark communication. Might have even been surprising communication came through. Or it might have been that in a relationship you found out the truth of the Ace of Swords. And that Ace of Swords, the truth might have come through somebody making some form of an announcement here to you guys. Or maybe you were the ones that were making this announcement. But I think the distant past, it shows maybe that you were fated in the distant past to block out an energy such as the Knight of Wands energy. All right, somebody who's fast, furious, they're very enthusiastic, but they burn out just as quickly. Or it could be that there was a change that occurred with that Wheel of Fortune in which you guys blocked out a Knight of Wands. Could be the same sign, but also might be somebody who was a little bit of a player as well. Might be that you were blocking out, you were rejecting a player, potentially in the distant past. And I feel that in the recent past, that there has been around a relationship the Ten of Cups, some form of truth that came out. I think it's been announced to you. I think there was communication on this uh, with these energies showing here. In the present situation, we've got the Magician. So the Magician represents to have an intention. It can represent magical, something new beginning, something new starting up in love with that Magician energy. But we've got the Ten of Wands. So I feel that communication with this Magician, or it could be that this person is the Knight of Wands, the Magician. Because the Magician and Knight of Wands are very similar in the way that they talk. They're very fast talking. And I feel that the Magician often, it's not in the upright a bad card as such, but nevertheless, it does show somebody who speaks a lot of shit a lot of the time. They drag you. The Magician is another narcissistic card. But when you get the Magician as a narcissist, even in the upright, it can be the worst type of narcissist that you can get. Leo, so for some of you guys, it might be an illusion that this person brought you into here had brought some burdens to you've been carrying a very heavy burden around this magician and i think that this is the narcissist i think this is the knight of wands energy all right i think that this is you know the wheel of fortune there was a change or you were destined to do something here with this wheel of fortune and it was to block out the knight of wands energy all right and i feel that in a relationship there was clear and present communication here there was honesty with the ace of swords energy that was communicated to you guys all right and that's why you know, it's, it's a shame really, but something didn't work out for you guys in the distant past and the recent past. And I feel that you guys have been struggling with this Ten of Wands, okay, around somebody's words and actions with that magician. Because when you get the magician card, the problem with the magician, he's ruled by Mercury, the planet of fast thinking and fast talking. So this person here, the magician, would kind of bring you into some form of an illusion, right? It's their illusion, but... I feel that you've blocked this person out because in the present situation, you've been getting this burden over what somebody's illusions were, their words to you. They might have said, oh, I really want to build a life with you. I really want to do this. I really want to do that. And then suddenly, no, it's not happening. And I think that this communication, clear and present communication, honesty with this Ace of Swords has been communicated in this relationship in the recent past. Okay? I feel that there were changes here. It might be that there were changes in uh, that resulted in with this Seven of Wands a rejection from a Knight of Wands. All right, so it could also be that in the distant past there were changes that happened in a relationship in which there was a rejection with that Seven of Wands from a very fast moving individual here. And I feel that in the recent past this relationship has gone through a period of truth and honesty that's been communicated. And I feel it's from this individual here with this Page of Wands energy. I think that in the present situation, you guys have been struggling with this person's, you know, I, I don't, you know, magician in the upright doesn't often represent an out and out deception, but I think it's that you're struggling with somebody who presented some form of an illusion through words and actions to you with that magician energy, okay? And you felt the need to try and release yourself emotionally from this Eight of Cups, with this Eight of Cups energy. So I feel that you've been struggling because this person with the magician, 
can also be start of a struggle in which you're needing to release these energies as well. But I feel that this could also be the person, the magician who, uh, you know, created some form of an illusion around some of you Leos and you've been going through some form of a heavy burden. You've been carrying a heavy burden because emotionally you need, you know that you need to kind of, you know, remove yourself from this energy. You know that you need to release yourself emotionally from this individual. As a result of that, it's been difficult because you've got the Eight of Swords. I think some of you guys can't get this person off your mind. I think that there is a constant, constant thinking going on around this individual. It's been very, very difficult to release the frustration or release the thoughts within this that, of what happened within this relationship with that Eight of Swords. You've got another Eight here, but you know, it's, I think that you've been trying to release this. Eight of Wands means to release, and the Eight of Swords means when you... They're two different cards, but it's good that what we've got, because I think if we had it this way, maybe, then this energy here is attacking you here. It's keeping you sort of bound. But I think in the recent past, you've, and you've got the three eights, and eights mean movement, which is lovely. So we've got the Eight of Swords here, and the Eight of Swords is really saying that you guys in the recent past, whatever it is that you were bound to, and I'm seeing that you've been struggling to release something here, but I think whatever it is that you've been bound to, Leo, you're generally trying to release that with that Eight of Wands energy by acknowledging that this thing is over with the Eight of Swords. It's dead, it's buried, it's finished. In the immediate future, you guys, well, there's a King of Cups showing up for you here, all right? So this might be another energy showing up. Uh, that's two weeks of September. It could be the same person, though, we'll see. But the King of Cups could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancerian individual. There could be something good around this individual happening. There might be some hope happening around a King of Cups energy showing here with that star card. And you've got the world card here. And when you get the star and the world together, it means that something is coming to you. You're going to have all your dreams realised. So some of you guys, it might be that there's a person coming in in which all of your hopes and dreams are going to be realised with that star and the world card. Because the star means aspiration, it means hope. It means manifestation, it means a dream coming true, and you've got the world card bringing great success. So I feel that something, a dream, is going to be realised here. It could be with another individual, especially if you've we've got this Ten of Swords here. So I think you guys have released someone, but I'm seeing somebody else around you, Leo, okay, that's going to be possibly even better for you in these three cards here. The Eight of Pentacles in the overall outcome, and this card requires the need for work, um, focus and effort. I think that your work towards some form of a change or moving on with that Six of Swords energy that brings peace with the Temperance card. So I'm seeing that hard work with this Eight of Swords to release any type of mental blockages in the overall outcome so that you can kind of align and balance yourself again with the Temperance energy, all right? So I do feel that, we'll go through this reading again before we get the energies, the three energies here. Um, I feel in the distant past there was a change came in. I think some of you guys might have been rejected with that Seven of Wands by a very fast mover. It could be your own sign, it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, might be somebody else. But I think that you were rejected probably from a, by a very fast moving energy, this Knight of Wands. And I feel that in the recent past, this relationship, I feel has gone through a place of severance, all right? I think also within this relationship, there has been the needs for honesty and truth. I think honesty and truth were communicated to you from this person that was blocking you out. I feel that uh, if this magician represents that Knight of Wands, it might be that you've been struggling with this person having orchestrated, because he looks like he's orchestrating something here. I think he might have been carrying some heavy burden over what this person orchestrated in the relationship. So that could be through words, and words are often the magician. This is a communicator, but when you get a magician, it's somebody who tells you a whole load of amazing stuff, but it's not always true. It's their illusion, not always yours. And I think that you might be struggling over how this person orchestrated stuff through words and actions. And there has been the need in the present situation to try and release oneself emotionally from that. I do feel for some of you guys that there is this feeling bound to this situation, feeling kind of held back and feeling a sense of stagnancy, especially mentally around the situation, is being released as you accept that this thing is completely over. I am seeing in the last two weeks of September for some of you guys as a person showing up around you could be a uh, water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, individual, Leo. That's going to bring the greatest happiness to some of you guys. All right. 
uh, with this uh, star in the world energy. And I feel that as a result of that, the overall outcome is you guys are going to be working hard. As a result of these beautiful energies, you're going to be working really hard. And I feel that this is on releasing any of these, any kind of mental obstacles that you've got in order to achieve some form of balance. Okay, because I'm seeing potentially somebody new for some of you guys. I don't think this is somebody old. If it is somebody old, then maybe they've come back and they've said, I'm sorry, and you're working through things again. But I do feel that it might be somebody new showing up here. Okay, because I think the old, if it's an older person that did this to you, it might be a Sagittarius Leo, Aries individual, or it could, might be a Gemini individual, possibly even Taurus, with that magician energy showing there. Okay, um... But this is somebody I think that you've worked hard to release. And I only say that I think it's somebody new because you've got this Ten of Swords and that usually means final over. And I'm seeing somebody else coming in in the last two weeks of September that has the ability. They're kind. They're showing unconditional love. They're not a fast mover like that Knight of Wands energy. And they're showing unconditional love in which the greatest happiness is being achieved here. And you guys in the overall outcome will be working towards overcoming the past with that Six of Swords. And also working towards a change of direction, okay, changing your perspective on how you've been feeling here in order to achieve happiness and balance. Let's get your general energies. So Seven of Pentacles is the general energy and sometimes this is a waiting card or it's a re-evaluation. All right, so uh, we've got the Queen of Swords. This is a card about sorrow usually. It's a card about somebody who's been deeply hurt. Um, I think some of you guys, it might be that um, the energies around you, and it's interesting that this new energy is coming in here, because I'm reading this as beautiful energy coming in, but the energies might be in the last two weeks off September, that some of you guys are waiting. Um, you've got the Queen of Swords here, and the Queen of Swords can represent somebody who's felt scorned in love, they've felt hurt in love. But then you've got this Page of Cups energy showing here. And Page of Cups, it might be that some of you guys are waiting. You might be waiting. But, the, you know, the bulk of the reading is to do with you guys trying to release something here. But I think there's some energy either in the last two weeks of September or going into October time. Suggesting somebody new coming in here that's going to be making you feel better, Leo. Okay, so I think the energies around you might be for the last of two weeks of September that you're waiting. Um, you're waiting... Queen of Swords is a card about feeling hurt and feeling pain. So, um, it might be that you're waiting. I don't think that you are waiting, though, because you've got these energies in the recent past where I think that something's been communicated to you, quite honestly. All right? Um, it might be that the energies are waiting for the truth. Queen of Swords often represents when you're waiting for truth or you want the truth. It might be that you're waiting for the truth in a new relationship with that Page of Cups. Because the Page of Cups is about communication as well. Good news. But I think that you're waiting for the truth in a, in, a, in a relationship here with this Page of Cups. And I think that you do get it. And I think the energies will be trying to work them way, their way through this, this, this truth that some of you guys, Leo, have received from an individual. So I think you're going to receive the truth from an individual. Now, I think it's going to be a little bit of a burden because this person has orchestrated something here. If you look at him, he looks like a maestro. He looks like he's creating something amazing. So I think that you're struggling around what somebody else did, their words and their actions. You're, you know, you're struggling because of what somebody orchestrated and there's been a need to release emotionally the energies of this individual you might have been feeling bound but you'll be trying to release that by acceptance with that ten of swords that something is over but i do see somebody new coming in here that's going to give you the greatest happiness and what you'll be trying to do is work through any type of mental blockages that you've got in order to achieve some form of balance could be that you've still got mental blockages going on from this other individual when this person when this other person comes in leo but I think that you're waiting here. You're waiting for the truth. It could be from a Page of Cups, an immature individual. Page of Cups, Knight of Wands, still immature energies from both. So it could be that some of you guys are waiting for the truth from an individual, a Page of Cups. All right? 
but I don't think it's a, it could be a water sign, but it could also be just anyone that's quite immature in love. It might be that you're waiting for the truth from an immature individual, potentially, the energies are. But I do feel that you get that, you get that truth. And as difficult as it is for some of you um, Leo individuals, I think it's going to be the best thing that could happen for you guys. Okay, let's get your advice card from the Romance Angels. Some of you guys, it might be also the energies are around you. It's that you're evaluating cutting out this new relationship with the Page of Cups. All right. Or you're evaluating cutting communication, maybe. You know, the Queen of Swords is often a card about feeling enlightened, but she's enlightened in a very logical way. All right. So it might be that waiting has brought enlightenment in terms of your, you know, what you had perceived with this Page of Cups to be a loving, a, you know, a really nice relationship. I think that somebody was playing you guys, and I think that they've communicated something to you. It's difficult to get over, but I feel that something better comes in. What are the energies? What is the, uh, what is the advice that you have for Leo? What is the advice that you have for Leo in terms of love? What is the advice that you have for Leo? Show me. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, all right? So this isn't about, yeah, it can be with someone else, but, you know, allow yourself to be free, Leo. Allow yourself to be good because there was a deception, all right? So passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy because someone is, what's that say? Let me read that. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So allow your heart and soul to sing with joy because there is somebody that speak that has been wearing a false mask in this relationship, okay? There's someone that was wearing a false mask in this relationship. So just try not to allow it to affect you. Look, look at the situation from a very positive viewpoint that at least you know. At least you know that this person wasn't honest. Because if you... I think the reading is really saying to allow yourself to release yourself from the obstacles, which I'm seeing here with the Six of Swords. When you've got obstacles and you're holding on to anger, this is the problem. When you find out somebody's deceived you in love, Leo, often we hold on to that and we internalise pain, which means it's more difficult for new love and new possibilities to come to you. But I feel that with this card, it's saying allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. All right? because someone was wearing a false mask in the relationship. So really this is about allowing yourself to release those painful energies that you might have been storing up in a relationship if you want something new to come in. All right, that's your reading, Leo. I would like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe, and I'll speak to you guys really soon. Take care.